What's up, folks? You know, okay, I know that sounds like shit, and it probably really does, but I always done that. So, anyways, this week we're starting with Girl, girl on Girl, but on... Sorry. Sorry, I had to be corny. No, actually, this week I actually want to talk about freaking, um... I was thinking movies lately, and like... The whole reboot, and like... Should reboots exist? Should they not? You know, what consider what's counting as a reboot? What's not? Like where it all falls out there lately, right? Like Jumanji, right? From what I've seen and heard, I haven't seen it yet. I'm iffy on it, but from what I've heard, it's been not bad. Everyone's like, from what I've seen, everyone's like, it's not. It's pretty good. I mean, ja I like Jack Black. I've seen him. He's always been like that weird actor that like. Do you know, remember that movie he was in where he had a neighbor and they all worked, they worked at the same company and he made a thing called Vampurize or something like that? I think it was called Envy, I think. I, I don't remember that movie title, but I, I mean, I like that. School of Rock was pretty good. But I've never had an issue with Jack Black. The Rock's in there, which. The Rock's very. You can take him or leave him, depending on where you go with him. Um, forget the girl actor. Um, Kevin Hart is hilarious. I, I like Kevin Hart. I think actually the things are a funny person. But on the whole topic of movies, like, like for example, right, The Force Awakens. Everyone says that's just a remake of Episode Four, and to an extent, I will give you that. And then Rogue One came out, and then the joke was Rogue One came out, and everyone was like, no, when you watch Rogue One, go watch Episode Seven again, and, and you'll see what an actual Star Wars movie show looked like. My only issue with Rogue One was this, all the time hopping in between, but that's just my personal take issue on that shit. That's just me. Anyways, but no, like, I don't mind reboots. I think the problem is, though, is how they're done. You know, like, Jumanji came out alright, um, or Remix, for example, like, uh, the, youngest, the Longest Yard. There's the original and the new one with Adam Sandler. The new one with Adam Sandler's not bad. But I mean... It, uh, let's look at Jurassic World, right? That's getting the fourth. That's getting another one now. It's getting a sequel, which... Jurassic World, I liked and didn't like. I think Chris Pratt's a good actor. I like that they did the theme park. Because that was technically considered like a re boot for the series it's weird because like there's Jurassic there's Jurassic Park then Jurassic Park the last world the lost world and then there was telling Jurassic Park 3 but then like the reboot kind of made 3 not exist like, I, I don't know it's weird I, I don't know where the, the, it fall under is on that thing like Looks like I I don't know where it falls. I I, I did. I don't think it was bad. I I mean, it combined the Velociraptor and the T Rex. I thought okay, that was kind of like that was a little eh. And Chris Pratt. Okay, like Chris Pratt controlled the, the, the Velociraptors. I that left me very weird. Because part of me thought okay, that's really cool. Because that and the, the thing that left me weird is it's. Do I think it belonged? Maybe not entirely, but do I hate it? No, because like it wasn't just something he did. Like they actually in the movie, they actually do explain how he does it, and they, they actually do build like a whole like I don't want to say master. I don't want to say like you know like owner pet relation, but like you do see that they did listen to him. So it's I I, I liked it because it was cool and like it made sense, but. I feel at the same time I feel like it just didn't fit, and I was like, mm -hmm. yeah, I was thinking reboots. We're talking about the Superman movies. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know they're not there. They're all right, fucking. And then we can have movies that can just completely suck. Batman vs Superman. Yeah, I shouldn't bash on those movies. I don't know, like, like I. I <sighs> I don't know, man. Like, like, okay, remember the Batman movies from like the '80s and '90s? Those four, and then we got like the Dark Knight trilogy, which was considered a reboot. 
That was a solid reboot. I like the Dark Knight trilogy, to be honest. It's the third one's ending kind of like, nah. Yeah, it is. It is the whole thing with Bane and that whole like plot twist and yeah, okay, it's not it's not the greatest thing out there. I'm not gonna lie. Still a solid movie though. Like, it just it. Here's the thing that irks me, it, and then is the fact that like, okay, like, let's say like the Assassin's Creed movie, for example, right? I like the first two Assassin's Creed. I like the first one. All three years, like my favorite. Number two was fine. I stopped playing them after that. And I've said it once, I'll say it again, I'll say it to a goddamn blue in the fucking face, like... That was an e- that could have been an easy... Money maker. Like, a very easy money maker. And they just... They, they dropped the ball, sorry. I mean, I know, like, I mean, the World of Warcraft one, I'll give some leniency to. Cause that one, from what I do- from what I've seen and heard, seems like that one's actually not bad. But... There's, there's, there's Assassin's Creed movies, like, it's like that, it's like Madara just pushed this 2 2 through a wall, it, it's just getting, it's just getting crushed, like, that's what that movie did, it just crushed shit, like, there's just planets falling on it and shit, like, it just crushed shit out. Like, like the 2 2 2 Creed is, is the movie, and Madara is the people right now, and, like, see, it's, it's put up a good fight. It's alright, folks, it's fucking trying to be good, but god damn, did that movie just, like... Ah, I don't know. I, movies leave me in a weird place. Cause I, I feel like, like we're in a day and age where it's like you can communicate with fans, you can sit there and get feedback, and they just make a shit movie. And like, I don't know. But then again, I mean, let's, let's look at the Ghost and Shell movie, the like, adaptation of that. That I thought was actually really good. Yes, it was shot for shot. Yes, they made Tokusa Asian. I don't give a fuck about that. But you know what? I I liked it. I thought it was a good adaptation. And I mean, and I have the original. I have the '95 version too. I mean, don't get me wrong. The '95 version definitely stands up on its own. But I'm not gonna bash the the, the live action like Scott Johansson. I think I actually did do a pretty. Actually, no, like... <laughs> uh, I feel like the Major is like a hard character to play. Because with the Major, you don't know what's going on in her head a lot of the times. And if you watch the series, you can kind of like... See that, like... I mean, she obviously does tell you some things. Don't get me wrong. But you can tell she still holds a lot back. And like, I... I don't know, I, I feel like Scarlet Ranch did the best she could with the Major. And for the most part, hey, you did a good job. And then again, there are people who hate that movie and say it was not that good. And I'm like, nah. God knows we ain't the fucking Death Note movie. So that did actually finally watched that the other day, the freaking live action Death Note. Don't watch that movie. Don't that that was shit. That was just I mean I think say in my last video too, where it's just like just just just, just, just don't like there's shit movies, and then there's that. Like, is it worse than Drama Evolution? I'm gonna say no. Does it come really close, though? Oh, yeah. Because, you know, the other movie was doing 25 episodes. Evolution was trying to do, like, the whole fucking series. But, I don't know. You know what? I do know this. I think that's where I'm gonna end this week's topic. Um, just a quick heads up, the week of Christmas there will be no video, I'm taking, I don't want to say a week off, because I only do this once a week, and, yeah, I'm not some master YouTuber, but, the week of Christmas, I will take a week off from edit and doing videos, but as always, spread the peace and love, don't be an asshole, and peace out, people.